Hey everybody, this is the Mask Reader. I just wanted to tell you not to miss today's episode because I'm going to tell about, talk about a book that makes nearly every single person in America laugh and has inspired entire movies. So don't miss it. <laughs> everybody to the second episode of the masked reader before you watch the video please make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and press that notifications button so you can be notified when videos of me come out before the video starts i just wanted to thank everybody for their support on my first video it happened last week and on the first day, it got over 100 views. So thank you, everybody. All right, now let's get on to the real part of this video. So, as I said in the trailer, in the, I mean the teaser, uh, th this book has inspired a total of four movies. It's made many people across America laugh. So let me just find it again in my pile of junky stuff. Uh, Last week, I pulled off a Rubik's Cube. Let me see what I'm going to find today. Aha! Oh, wait. Star Wars. A classic, but not what I'm looking for. Uh, aha! Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to present to you the book that's part of the series that's made many people across America laugh, inspired four movies, and it's probably going to make you, yes, you, laugh again. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to present to you Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Now, this book, if you don't know, was written and illustrated by Jeff Kinney. It, this time, it isn't in comic book format, but there are many pictures. I'm just going to show you a, a few pages just to show the style of it. And, and this book, as, uh, it's the 14th book of the series. Sorry, I didn't show the first book, but this is the copy that I had. You can find it in your local library. Now, the setting of the story is in the present time. And the plot of the story is the main character named Greg Heffley. He's a sixth grader. Um, his great aunt, his great aunt, dies, and they end up getting a huge inheritance from her. And they end up using it to try to renovate their kitchen. But so many things go wrong. So many problems happen, and that they end up having to demolish the entire thing. And now there's, they're thinking, they're seriously thinking about the possibility of leaving everything behind and moving to a new neighborhood. Now, I can relate to this because, uh, like, Greg Hef like Greg Hefley, I also had to move, from, uh, move out of state, actually, and not from one neighborhood into the other. And I had to leave all my friends and everything, all the memories that I had in that state. And I had to bring it over here. Uh, but in the end, it's working out and everything. But I don't want to talk about my personal life because this is a YouTube video. But moving on. There's a plot twist at the end, which I am not going to spoil for you because you're going to have to read the book. Ha, oh, nice try. So... Time for my pros and cons. My pros, this book is super funny. I've already said this like five times. It's made me laugh. It's made many people laugh. And it's probably, it's going to make you laugh too, probably. And, um, it's, it's really, really funny. Um, but it even has some heartwarming moments in the book, like, it kind of makes you want to shed a tear. Now, what I didn't like about this book, there was nothing I did not like about this book. I, I, I read it, it was really funny, and I couldn't think of anything, honestly. So, in the end, I would like to recommend this book to people that like to have a good laugh, People that don't like to read a lot of chapter books, these long Hunger Games style books. 
and people that just want to read casually. And that's a wrap, everybody. Thank you for clicking and watching the second episode of The Masked Reader. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. And a happy new decade!